Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video on the Stony River channel. Today I'd like to talk about how you can create ink to write with or paint with from black walnut tree fruits. So black walnut fruits look like this. They kind of have a greenish brown texture and a fleshy coating that surrounds the actual walnut itself. And uh, I purposely stained my hands. I processed one of these fruits, meaning I just peeled away the outer husk around the walnut itself and uh, just you can see how the staining properties that it has on my hands did that purposefully um, and yeah it could be used as a dye or to create ink and I've never done this before so the first step is going to be to well I soaked uh, 20, 15 to 20 black walnut fruits um, in water just for a day or two and then the next step is going to be to separate them from the, the walnuts and they'll save the walnuts to try to grow more trees and basically I'm going to boil that down. So there's about 15 to 20 fruits here that have been soaking for maybe 24 to 48 hours here and then the next step is I'm going to remove the outer fleshy kind of husk that surrounds the walnut. I'll save the walnuts on the side and then I'll use that husk fleshy layer to create um, an ink. And This is the water that I soaked the black walnut fruits in. I'm just gonna use this to kind of be the stock and just boil it down after I add all the separated husks. So the husks have been added to the solution that they were soaking in, the fruits were soaking in for a couple days, and now I just turn the heat on a medium setting and I'm just gonna kind of get that up to a simmer, let that break down a little bit, and then we'll uh, filter it through cheesecloth and let it cook down even more. A couple of the items that uh, I'm going to use to create this ink or attempt to create this ink is uh, baking soda. I think I heard adding baking soda, a little bit of it to the husk water mixture can help it break down uh, easier. Um, and then there's some cheesecloth there. I'm going to filter out the solid material. And then finally, when I finish the ink, I'm going to add an isopropyl rubbing alcohol to the ink itself, and that alcohol will serve as a preservative. So I guess adding baking soda helps to break down the fruits. I don't know if it's true, but I'm just going to add a little splash in and just see how that works. Oh god, oh, it's gotten really, really dark, really, really black. You can see that. And the next step is to filter out the solids in a, basically a stainless steel bowl that's been lined with some uh, plastic bags uh, to just prevent the bowl from being stained and then uh, ultimately cheesecloth to really filter out the solids. Alright, I'm going to try to filter this through some cheesecloth and separate the solids from the liquid and then boil the liquid down even more and then hopefully that will create a nice consistency for ink. Okay, so yeah, like I've been simmering this slurry, I guess, of filtered black walnut uh, mixture for a while, and it's really cooked down to a very small volume, and I think at this point I'm just going to transfer it to a jar, let it cool a little bit, and then we'll test it to see how strong these, this ink is that we did make. Um, yeah, I, it's the first time doing it, so it's an experiment for me as well, but uh, yeah, it's been kind of simmering for probably about an hour, I would say, after we filtered out the... Uh, physical material from the, the mixture. So we're going to transfer this to a jar. And you probably want to wear gloves when you do this because it will stain your hands. And here we go. And there we are.
even know what to say about it. I just think it's beautiful. I mean, I'm just kind of playing around. Well, what do you think? Of, what do you What are you thinking? Like, what do you? You're, I, I what? love the color and the tones and how many like you can really build it up a lot, or you can kind of like let it kind of run out and get to be that lighter shade. Yeah, I love it. I'm excited to get some actual pen tips and see how that works instead of using it just mm -hmm. like paint. That'll be featured in the subsequent video. <laughs> But it's it's so pretty. It's very beautiful.